On August 4th, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Secretary Becerra declared the ongoing spread of the monkeypox virus in the United States as a national public health emergency. The declaration means the ability for a stronger, faster response to the virus. It's also a rare designation that signals the seriousness of the virus and its potential risk to Americans. The emergency puts in motion some new measures aimed to contain the threat of the virus. And some people describe this virus as similar to smallpox, but not as severe in its symptoms. The United States does have the world's largest number of monkeypox cases thus far, and the virus is spreading quickly. The World Health Organization actually declared the virus an emergency back at the end of July. It was shortly thereafter that President Joe Biden announced that Robert Fenton of FEMA would lead the White House National Monkeypox Response Coordination. And Mr. Fenton in a statement said, we are applying lessons learned from the battles we fought from COVID response to wildfires to measles, and we'll tackle this outbreak with the urgency this moment demands. Now, the feds say the emergency declarations means a few changes. The FDA can work on new ways to get the vaccine to affected communities, and they're actually looking at a way to inject the vaccine in a dose sparing way to make the vaccine go further. They want to get more testing, vaccines, funding, and provider awareness into communities. The declaration of emergency has important implications for data sharing and also authorizes the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to collect testing and hospitalization data. The declaration, the White House says, is just one part of a broader strategy also included is scaling the production and availability of vaccines. They also want to expand testing capacity and make testing more convenient. They also want to reduce burdens in accessing treatment. And the White House says they need to conduct robust outreach to stakeholders and members of the LGBTQI plus communities. Now, the timeline for this national public health emergency is that it is a 90 day declaration. It does have the ability to be renewed. This is similar to the COVID national public health emergency in its timeline. You can read more from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services on the monkeypox national public health emergency. We link to those resources in the description below.